told that they had been made in the US to come to Nigeria. At that time, he was very curious of that. He tried to uh, get one here, but eventually, I think it was by Mr. Shia Kiyomi that was able to get into the NFF to organize the first course. I think that was maybe 2011 or 2014 or thereabouts. No, 2015. And since then, they've been able to do quite a number of courses. Akure, Lagos, Benin, I think Ibadan, you did something in Ibadan as well. And the most important thing is that knowledge is being transferred. And, you know, there's always that thing they say, oh, our coaches are not knowledgeable about the sport, that they just have passion. But now some people have decided that that knowledge will impart it in our coaches at grassroots level, style they play, the food they eat, the diet they should take, the psychology and all the other aspects that helps a player to go from uh, grass to grace. So I want to really commend what FCAN is doing uh, and I, I'm so happy that the Edo State Sports Commission immediately agreed to work with FCAN and that's why we're here today. So please, I want to make, uh, join all of us to make the best use of this opportunity. It's the F grade. I think as we go along, they'll begin to uh, That's right. go up to the higher grade. That's right. And the important thing is that this certification is universal. You can use it anywhere in the world. The F certification is recognized everywhere in the world Woo! because of the quality of the people that started it and the qualifications they themselves have. So don't take it for granted that, oh, you're just doing this and all that. Very, very soon, you'll begin to be beneficiaries of this training and even more training that FCAM will bring about. Very soon, almost, we're going to get to a point when there will be, if you don't have FCAM certification, 